Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com, and in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the intro riff to Long Distance Runaround from Yes. <laughs> So let's kind of break down this riff part by part. And uh, there's actually multiple guitars playing, and what I'm showing you is kind of the primary rather than the harmonized guitar part. So we're going to start off up at the 15th fret of the fourth string. And what we're going to do is a pull off from my pinky to my third finger at the 14th fret. 12th fret on the 3rd string, and then what I'm going to do is I have to play um, a 15th fret on the 3rd, 2nd, and 1st strings. And what I'm going to do is kind of roll my 4th finger, because I can't really, if I kind of bar it, I'm going to hear all of those notes together, and I don't really want to hear that, and if I kind of pick up my finger, that's not going to be very efficient either. So, rolling, I'm on the tip of my fourth finger for that 15th fret on the third string. And then what I do is kind of move like this to the second string. I've kind of rolled off of the third string, so I'm no longer touching that. And I'm kind of playing the second string with not so much the tip of my finger. And then when I go to the first string, I'm kind of rolling off of that uh, second string and playing the uh, first string like this. So that way I'm hearing those three notes more individually rather than all together. So that part is... All right. And then the next kind of little subsection here, I'm going to go to the 13th fret on the first string and I'm going to pull off to the 12th fret on the first string, so first and second fingers. 13th fret on the second string, and then 12th fret on the third string. So. Okay. Then we kind of start out the same for the next part. All right, we get the same pull off from the 13th to the 12th fret here, but then we kind of change up the ending. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go to the 15th fret on the first string. I'm going to slide up to the 17th fret. This is with my pinky. I'm going to come back to the 15th fret, but I'm going to play it with my second finger. And then I'm going to put my third finger on the 16th fret of the second string and slide that up to the 17th fret. So that whole little section is. Now it's going to just go back to the the kind of first riff. All right. Now we shift positions. We're now going to go down to the fifth position, and I'm going to do go to the first string at the sixth fret, and I'm going to pull off from my second finger to my first finger, sixth fret to the fifth fret, then sixth fret on the second string. 7th fret on the 3rd string, 8th fret on the 4th string. This is a major 7 chord. And I'm going to pull off from the 7th fret to the 5th fret on the 4th string. Okay. And then slide from the 6th fret to the 7th fret on the 5th string. So that whole section is... Alright, now 
we start a little kind of ascending part here with some uh, starting out on the seventh fret on the first string, eighth fret on the second string, and ninth fret on the third string. These are all going to be groups of three. So that first group of three is that. The next group of three, I'm going to shift up. I'm going to put my first finger on the eighth fret of the first string, third finger on the tenth fret of the second string, and pull off to the eighth fret on the uh, second string. So first, second group of three, third group of three, kind of the same uh, fingering and but just moving everything up two frets. So my first finger is going to be on the 10th fret of the first string, and then I'm pulling off from the 12th fret to the 10th fret on the second string. So. Next up, I'm going to put my second finger on the 12th fret of the first string. And I'm going to pull off from the 13th to the 11th fret on the 2nd string. And then the last group of three, I'm going to move up to the 13th fret on the 1st string and pull off from the 15th to the 12th fret. And then it all starts over again. Alright, so that whole kind of last part goes like this, a little bit slow. So here's, here's the whole riff, and I'm going to play it kind of slow. So this one can be a little bit challenging. Just remember to break it down into little parts. Uh, that's the easiest way to learn anything on the guitar. You're not going to try to play the whole thing. Kind of start off with the first lick. Work on that and then kind of add on to it. All right. Have fun playing this Yes riff. Have a good one.